Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, we once again turn our eyes toward the world of books. It's been a while since our last book-focused video here on the channel, and I've got two crime novels that have been sent to Serial at Midnight to read and review. They're new novels, and both of these, uh, it's, it's interesting because both of these represent two very different takes on the crime fiction genre. But I've read them both, and I wanted to talk to you guys, tell you what I thought about them. So let's start with a novel called Callahan. This is by author Anita Wright. And Ms. Wright was kind enough to sign a copy to Serial at Midnight and send this over for a review. Now, I have to talk about both of these books in a way that is it doesn't spoil anything, that it's vague enough that it doesn't spoil anything, but it's specific enough that it tells you kind of what, what they're about. So uh, I'm going to walk that tightrope with you guys. Callahan is the story of a small town sheriff named Nick Moran. He's a, Listen, he's a good guy. He's a younger guy. He's got kids that still live at home, but life has thrown monkey wrenches into his plan. He's, he's divorced. Uh, he's, things just keep kind of getting in the way. He's, he's struggling, you know, he's kind of, he's a good guy who's doing the best he can with what he's got, trying to find a better tomorrow. And he cares about this town. He cares about the town is Callahan. Uh, he cares about the people of the town. He cares about his job. So he's investigating this arson and he quickly realizes that the arson is way bigger than what he thought it was, than the town or he is prepared to deal with or has dealt with before. The federal government gets involved. They send this young, attractive lady agent who, at first, Nick and this agent butt heads, but before you know it, there's some romantic spark. Because here's the thing, he's protective of his town and there are outsiders now in his town, but he can't deny the attraction. So you can tell that Ms. Wright does have a little, it's, it says in her, her biography in the book that she comes from a romance, there's romance in her background, but this is her first uh, full length novel from what I gather. And uh, I gotta tell you guys, having read this, it kind of reminds me of, and now this is through no direct connection, so if, if, <laughs> if I'm way off here, forgive me, but I see some similarities to Robert B. Parker's Jesse Stone series because we're talking about now now Jesse Stone as the adaptation movies they start Tom Selleck so he's an older character uh, with a with a grizzled past you know he comes he's seen things man that's not really Nick Moran in this book but he is you know small town sheriff and this he now comes something that's bigger than he's prepared to deal with it's bigger than the town has seen he's got to deal with you know these other people that are like well hey why haven't you fixed this crime why can't you solve this this is your this is what you do right why can't you fix this so in those terms it does remind me of some of the things that i i personally have seen through the jesse stone series but one of the things that i wanted to to say and that's not a bad thing that's actually like i think it's really cool one of the things that I wanted to point out about this novel is that it's relatively, uh, it's not salacious. There's some, you know, there's some, some romance and some love making in the book. There's crime, obviously. There's even some gun stuff, but it's not grisly. There are no specific gory details. It's relatively, um, clean for lack of a better word I could see this being adapted for perhaps a cable movie a TV movie that sort of a thing the thing that you see on a Hallmark channel or a, you know, back in the day I may be showing my age but like on a TBS or a TNT or something like that uh, that's the sort of thing that I could see that's the sort of story that this is and I think that that's a plus for this book it really works for what Ms. Wright is trying to do so if that sounds like your cup of tea this is available in both print form and in ebook form on Amazon and you know other e-tailers and retailers as well now we move on to the next book this is called A Perfect Eye by author Stephanie Kane. Uh, Stephanie Kane is an award-winning crime author, and this is um, this is a whole different beast. First of all, this is I should say that Callahan is about 300 pages. Let's see, it's yeah, it's right at 300 pages. This is a breezy, uh, just a little over 200 pages. This thing flies. It's very pulpy, not pulpy in um in any of the negative connotations. It's just very, uh, it, it moves. It moves like this. It's like boom, 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 boom. Unlike Callahan, this book relishes <laughs> the gory details. So the principal uh, 
uh, story, the, the main idea behind this book is there has been a brutal, brutal murder connected to a museum. And, uh, one of the, the investigator here, um, Lily Sparks is she, she has a perfect eye. She comes from the art world and what they kind of just determine is that this museum, this art museum related murder has something to do with art. So think like the Thomas Crown affair, either version, you know, the classic version or the, uh, the Pierce Brosnan and Rene Russo remake, either one of those, think that, but with like hardcore grisly CSI style murder. <laughs> and, and that is a perfect eye. But what I enjoyed about this book is that it is, uh, like I said, it, it's, it moves. It's a hard, I, I'm going to say maybe this is, you know, hard case crime is a brand, but the hard case crime overall genre, you know what we're talking about, hard boiled. This is a very, <laughs> it's very hard boiled in its details. Talking about like the intestines and things like that. They can really get into it. Um, that is uh, a whole different thing here. And it, it, so it has that element, that element of like a CSI investigation in a museum, but darn it if I didn't learn some things about art. Like I, listen, I love art. I do have an appreciation for art, but there's like paintings referenced in here. It relative, like most of the book takes place in and around an art museum. And the person that works, you know, the person who's kind of leading the, the case here is an art professional with a perfect eye. And we find out how she acquired this perfect eye. Uh, it's, it's very cool in the details about how uh, this character has acquired this special set of skills. I have a very special set of skills. Uh, but uh, that so that is a perfect eye. Once again, just like Callahan, this book is available in both print form and uh, in, in ebook form. So whichever one works for you. But I do want to thank both of the uh, the writers of these books for making sure that Serial and Midnight had copies of them to review. I enjoyed both of them. If these sound like your cup of tea, I would highly recommend them. So I want to thank the authors of these books. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're going to pick them up, I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you read these also, what you're reading, what's on your, what's on your bookshelf, your nightstand, your Kindle, your, you know, whatever you're reading, what are you reading? What's going on? What do you recommend? So guys, let's just continue the conversation in the comments below. I thank you so much for your time. Uh, take care. I appreciate you very much. Until next time, I will catch you later.